The Bimbo community to me means so much. We have a sisterhood. A bimbo is a woman who is taking ownership of her sexuality. I think this looks fabulous. Yeah, I think so too. She's confident. She is. She doesn't care what anyone thinks about her. That is so wild. <laughs> Why is she so hot? So this is the first time um, many of the girls will meet. Yes. <laughs> What's that Yes. I haven't met any one of them before today, so that's going to be really exciting. It's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> My name is Alicia Mira and I am 29 years old and I am a professional bimbo. There's so much stigma attached to the word bimbo. A bimbo is everything but stupid. Being a bimbo is empowering because you're fighting back to a system that's been demoting and censoring women like me for so long. We have been brought up in a world where women are taught to be ashamed of their sexuality. They are taught to be embarrassed of their femininity or hide it. So what you see here is a part of our collection from my brand called Be A Bimbo. Today I'm having a photo shoot with some of the girls that are part of our bimbo family. The biggest misconception people have about me is definitely that I'm stupid. Every time I speak to people, they will be surprised. Like, look, oh, she, she can actually talk, like, wow. My first time in the sex industry was when I was 26, and it's the best thing that I ever did. I think we all have reasons to be in the sex industry and I think we have to be so careful of deciding who is empowered and who isn't. I started the brand because I felt so judged on a daily basis and I was like, this has got to end. I'm having fun with it. Uh, I was wondering, are you on your way? Absolutely fabulous. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. I just need to make one more call. Hey! Hi girls! Oh my god, it's so nice to meet you! Hi Alex, honey, and thank you so much for coming. Hi honey. How did I just lose my hoop? Oh, that always happens. Bimbo problems. This is like magic. This is a candy shop or like um, Barbie dream house. Kind totally. Of game. I feel like we're the perfect people to be in here. Yeah. Oh my no. god, I'm so happy to see you. Did I just break your nails? Uh, you Can I like something where we say like our name and how old we are? My name is Jasmine. I'm Angel. My name is Rachel. My name is Alex Gray. And I'm a bimbo because I believe that there's a lot of power in femininity. I am a bimbo because I really believe that you should do what you think is fun and just live your fantasy. I am a bimbo because I'm a sexual being and I'm proud of it. And I'm a bimbo because I'm strong enough to embrace my femininity in a society that tells me not to. The bimbo community to me means so much. It's like, um, it's not just a movement, it's like my entire life. We have a sisterhood. I think a large would fit you better. Mm -hmm. But I, I personally love the underboob. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel like a bimbo is about? I feel like being a bimbo like really actually affects everyone. I feel like when you get your nails done, you know, everyone's heard that like question that's like, how do you get anything done with those nails? Relate. How can this be this difficult? Do you need help, honey? Do you need help, babes? No. I think this looks fabulous. Yeah, I think so too. Oh my god, really your like boobs it. are so amazing. <gasps> Thank you, oh, darling. Sorry. Brands like Be A Bimbo are really important because like, it's community building. Because without community, you feel alone and isolated. And then I was thinking uh, with the robe on, yeah, would course. be fabulous. Yeah. And then you have like a little moment in the mirror. I love that you're kind of like a dress-up doll right now. Can I take you home, babe? 
and then the bimbo choker. Of course. I feel. This is not a brand, this is a movement. I feel like there's like a lot of shame sometimes associated with being like owning your sexuality and stuff like that. True, yes. so true. We shouldn't feel shamed no. for being feminine. Oh, you know? or sexual. Today in modern day feminism, bimbos and whores often get left out of the conversation, which is like kind of confusing to me because feminism stresses so much the importance of letting women choose and having the power to mm -hmm. act and look a certain mm -hmm. way that they feel empowering for them. Every single time I tell anyone that I'm going to do pre-med, they ask if I'm a nurse. It's kind of just like hurtful to just constantly assume that you're dumber than you actually are. The brain isn't in the hair. Like, yeah, I guess no, it's not. No. I'm in porn, so people automatically think mm. that I come from a broken family mm. and that I like ran away from home and did yeah. this and that. That is not true. Mm. My family loves me very much, like I'm mm. close to them. I'm not just doing this for bimbos. This is also about women in general out there working at strip clubs, like working as escorts, working as porn stars. Like they are being so stigmatized and so judged and excluded by, you know, from entire society. You are so beautiful, girls. This shoot today went like way better than I expected. You guys rock, by the way. Your answers. Oh my god. I was looking at you, babe, and you were so f***ing smart, and you were like, so cute. They're girls that I look up to so much, and they inspire me so much. Maybe somewhere we like, like, look at each other like, haha, sort of, like, I call it a shampoo laugh. <laughs> I don't even have words for it at this point, like, I, I just love, I love them so much. Like, I'm cheering up because it, it makes me really happy. Oh, sorry. Oh. Anyway, you were saying? <laughs> Don't laugh! <laughs>